everyone, Brian Wilson here with CBizSoft. Excited to show you uh, an update to our introduction to Excelair. Uh, it's been a long time here since we've changed the introduction video and a lot of things have, have happened here at CBizSoft and with Excelair over the past uh, year or so, um, including the introduction of our brand new Windows desktop application, uh, Excelair for Windows. So, um, Excelair is the latest and greatest applicant tracking, you know, candidate relationship management software from CBizSoft. We've been making software in the space since 1999 uh, and continue to invest in uh, cloud-hosted applications for both the desktop. You can download and use this cloud-connected app for Windows desktop computers. Um, or you can access the software directly through a, a fully web-based interface. You'll notice here I'm in, in Chrome accessing the exact same software. So again, the software will work in any web browser, or you can download dedicated apps for Windows. We also have dedicated apps for iPhone, iPad, and Android as well, keeping your data centrally hosted and backed up and secure, and then allowing you to access that data really from, from any application you might want to use. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the software, just get you familiar with the user interface, and then you can dive into subsequent videos um, that really drill down into more specific features of the software. So what you're looking at here is Excelair for Windows. Uh, this is the Windows desktop app, and the user interface between this and the, the web app are more or less identical. So when you know how to use one app, you know how to use them both. The dashboards are going to give you an overview of everything that's going on across your uh, across your company and these dashboards can be filtered to show data for specific uh, users or maybe specific departments or locations uh, depending on how you think have things set up you can you can filter these dashboards to show the data that's of most interest to you um, as an individual contributor or as the manager of a team or division or perhaps as the CEO or, or director of an entire organization so I can come back to these dashboards a little bit later once you see where everything's coming from. You're also going to have universal search at the top. This is a quick way to search your entire database of all of your companies, contacts, candidates, jobs. You can type in something simple like Brian Wilson and the software will tell you you've got a number of candidates and contacts uh, with that name and where they work and who they are. Just choose one of those contacts that will open that into a new tab. You can start working with them. You can also put in phone numbers or email addresses, use wild cards, all sorts of different things to, to search uh, this particular, uh, across the entire database of, of Excelair. Now each section itself is going to have its own type of searches as well, so universal search is really meant for searching across everything. The navigation of the software is kept over here on the left hand side. And just like you're used to with either CBiz1 in the past or Excelair for web as it exists now, we break things down by dashboards and reports of course to give you insights on what's going on across your organization. And then the main sections of the software that uh, your users will be using are, of course, your, your client companies. And then we also break things down by your, your contacts. These are typically hiring managers um, working at client companies or vendor partners you might work with, basically contacts that are not candidates that you're recruiting. Uh, we also have a main section of the software called Candidates. This is going to be a list of all of your uh, active candidates in the database that you can search across. Uh, view their history of, that kind of thing. All of your open job orders, of course, that are linked to your hiring managers and, uh, and hiring organizations, all your different clients. Uh, there's also an integrated calendar, and this calendar can sync back and forth with uh, Outlook if you'd like it to, uh, that kind of thing. But this is a, a complete group calendar. You can view in a list format, a day format, week, month, just like any normal uh, format. And you can even sort this calendar based on different users in your organization if you want to check availability for interviews or, or just for assigning tasks and, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to focus um, primarily on candidates here. And each section of the software is very similar. You'll notice underneath candidates there's both dynamic and static views. So Dynamic views are just a way to sort your candidate data. And what I mean by that is um, we've set different criteria for the different views you see here, including active, recently added, my daily call list, pipeline, those kind of things. And candidates show up into these views automatically based on the criteria that's been set for this view. So for example, active is going to show just all of your active candidates in the database, whereas my daily call list would just show a list of candidates you have calls scheduled with for that day or that you have not yet completed in the past. So a very quick way to get to your, your call list of candidates. Pipeline is just going to show a list of all of the candidates that are currently in consideration for different job orders you're working on 
and what their current status is in relation to that job. So you can sort by different jobs in, in, in this view and then see all the different candidates and their, their accompanying statuses. So again, dynamic views are just ways to actively sort candidate data based on the different criteria set here. And if you're on the premium version of our software, you can create any number of views yourself um, with any number of criteria um, that you can think of. Static views are a little bit different. Um, these are more like a saved list. Some people call these roll-up lists or, or tear sheets, but the idea is that you can create any number of lists over here. You see I've created things like my best Denver salespeople or CEO prospects or um, marketing all-stars, MPCs, Java consultants, whatever you want. You can create lists with your own columns. Um, and then the idea is that you can put people into these lists manually. So as you're doing searches for people inside of the database and you come across a few different candidates that maybe would be a good fit for a CEO role, but maybe you're not working on a CEO role right now, you can just find people and drag and drop those into different views for safekeeping. So again, static views are a way of, of creating sublists of candidates for safekeeping for almost any purpose you can think of, research lists, short lists of, of candidates you're looking to market to or contact, or really anything. And those static views can be made private or made shareable inside of your organization depending on your, your administrator setup of the software. So I'm going to click on the active view here um, real quick and then just go ahead and hide the navigation pane, get you familiar with the user interface. We take a very data-driven approach to, um, to data management and you'll notice that in the, the columns and, um, and fields that you see here in the view. Um, right here all of these uh, columns correspond to different fields inside of the candidate record. So if I double click on Aaron Balchinus, for example, it's going to open up the candidate record associated with Aaron and show me the details that I'm tracking. Depending on the version of software you're using um, with XLR, you can customize these fields as needed. You can add fields, remove fields, change the layout of these fields. Um, but the, the software as it works out of the box is very comprehensive. So you're going to be able to track all the normal things like, you know, where do they work? What's their current company? Where do we find this person? Different social profiles. Uh, current desired salaries and bill rates, you know, job function, seniority, industry, ratings, employee types, all sorts of different stuff. Moving over to the details tab, things like primary and secondary skills for your technical type people. Um, and we do have the ability to, um, to, to parse these skills in automatically based on uh, the skills that you like to recruit for. Uh, education and employment history is always parsed out as well. So if you like to go through um, employment history during your initial interviews with candidates, track things like, um, you know, how much money were you making at that organization, you know, um, what was your reason for leaving, um, those kind of things, you can do those during your initial interviews and, and keep that data um, in your historic records for these candidates. Um, any of the social profile links we do try to parse out when we're parsing from various um, places, but if you don't have a social profile for a candidate, like we don't for this candidate, you can always click on the, the LinkedIn button or the Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter button, um, and when you click on that button, it's going to initiate a search for that candidate on that network, so that you can hopefully just grab that candidate and send them an email or, or something like that very quickly. <coughs> any of the fields on the candidate record are then able to be brought into the grid view in the background. So you can see here I've got all those various fields and these are all going to be searchable. So for instance if I want to do a search for anybody in the state of Georgia I can just type in GA it's going to pull up every candidate located in Georgia or type a comma and add CA to add both Georgia and California to the list. Um, maybe I want to search for somebody with a specific job title we'll just say uh, somewhere with manager and their job title. You can use a wildcard to search by that and then continue to drill down based on city and state data uh, or what have you. So any of these fields are searchable and customizable by you. So for instance, if you want to move around the, the order of these columns, you'd rather have job function uh, somewhere over here in, in front of job title or maybe um, switch city and, and email or maybe even hide things completely. You don't want to see job function at all. You can just say hide job function. So each user is going to be able to customize these views completely the way that they want um, with whatever fields they want and whatever order that they want, making it a very intuitive and, and customizable platform no matter which version of the software that you're using. Now I can also pop out the resume preview pane. So as I'm going through lists of candidates, I can always view the resumes over here on the right hand side making it very easy to, to quickly assess whether a candidate would be good 
for a specific position that you're working on uh, or what have you. Um, down below, you're going to see a series of what we call X tabs. These tabs show data related to the record you have selected, in this case, candidates. So Q notes is an area to enter quick notes about a particular candidate. Um, spoke with him today, not a good fit, right? And you can save that Q note, it'll be there in, in the history. Um, Q notes are just for individual records, just, just for the record you're on, for instance, a candidate or a job. When I click on history, this is going to show the history of everything that's happened with this candidate across any jobs or, or organizations we might be considering this candidate for. So you'll see every interview we've ever done, every note we've ever taken, every email we've ever sent. And when you click on those items in the view here below, you know, the email for example, you're going to see a preview of that email. When you click on a note, you're going to see the, the, the note that was taken for that particular candidate. Um, and then the user ID is the person on your team that sent that email or, or made that call or took that note. So you always know who spoke with who when, what it was regarding, that kind of thing. And, and the, the X tabs are also customizable. You can, you can drag and drop to rearrange columns or also use uh, searching as well inside of, inside of the X tabs to quickly locate emails or notes or that kind of thing. So history is everything that's happened in the past. Activities is everything that's coming up in the future or that has not been completed yet. So if you have a task scheduled that you haven't completed, it's going to show up here. Or if you have an interview scheduled three days from now, you're going to see it here. The pipeline is a, a history of every job you've considered this candidate for um, and what happened with that particular candidate um, related to that job. So you can see for this candidate, we've considered them for a, a many different jobs. Um, but you know, we're also showing you what happened with those particular jobs. So for the senior ma uh, manager, project manager position, he was rejected. For this other project manager position, he was also rejected by the client. But we actually placed him at this SAP consultant job back in February. So as you, as you click on the place button, it'll give you any notes associated with that. Um, and if you click the plus button, it'll show you the whole pipeline of, of the steps he went through. So we can see that he was first submitted via email to the hiring manager. That shows you the email that was submitted. Then he went through a phone interview, a site interview, a final interview, was then offered the job, and then was placed. So a very quick way to, uh, to go to any candidate in reference to any job and see where they're at and what process or what happened to them for the job they were considered for. The final tab is the Documents tab. This is going to show anything you want to link to a candidate. So you can link different versions of the resume, maybe blinded versions or uh, interview docs or reference check documents or anything you, re you really want to link to a candidate. Um, there's no limit. We support all file types, so you can, um, you can include almost any document you want onto a candidate record. All right. Um, so that is the, uh, that's kind of the brief overview of candidates. One more thing I want to do, um, I already showed you how to search inside of fields you know, using, uh, using just wildcards inside, uh, inside of the field search bars. Again, we call that live search. But if you want to do more of a comprehensive search across uh, resumes and notes and things like that, you're just going to click on the advanced search button. And this will initiate um, a new window allowing you to enter search terms. So this is where we can enter a regular search where basically we build the Boolean strings for you just by using these different boxes, all of these words, any of these words, none of these words, exact phrases, zip code radiuses. Or if you are a Boolean expert, feel free to switch over to Boolean mode. And this will allow you to write out full Boolean logic, which we do support inside the software, um, and search across all of those fields and, and resumes using that full Boolean logic. So I'm just going to type in a regular search. I'll just type in the terms sales, marketing, if I want to, I can enter a zip code radius here and, 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 and then also say I want to see candidates within a certain distance of that zip code radius. I can even save searches as well. If I've written a complex Boolean string, I can save that so I don't have to retype it next time. But again, I'll just start simple and say sales, marketing, and hit find. So this went and did a search of the entire candidate database and brought back 735 results. So as I go through these candidates, um, over as I click on them on the left-hand side, on the right hand side you're going to see where it found those terms inside the resume. Alright, so it's a, a quick way of visually uh, indicating you know where we found those terms in the resume. Um, maybe it's an actual skill or maybe it's a uh, maybe it's uh, something that they just mentioned. So that's a, a good way to kind of quickly point out where, where it was found. Now on the left hand side we have a series of facets. 
So of the 735 candidates that have these keywords in their resume, you can then use the facets over here on the left to drill down. So of the 735 that have sales and marketing, maybe I want to drill down to candidates just located in Colorado or Idaho for whatever reason. In a few seconds, I'll rebuild that list to something more manageable, 76. But you can use lots of different facets. Drill down by location or categories or groups or statuses or job functions or seniority. Very similar to a, a LinkedIn type search, right? And then you can also use a combination of live search. So if I hide the facets after I've drilled down to Colorado and Idaho, then I can drill down even further to show me somebody that's uh, currently a manager somewhere in, in their current job title. And now I've narrowed that down to a much more manageable 17 candidates. And now from here, um, I can start to work with this data. So of these 17 candidates, um, I could send them an email. For instance, if I want to email Ben, I could just say email selected candidate. It's going to initiate an email to Ben. But if I wanted to send a mass email to this entire list, I could just hit control A or maybe use my control and shift keys to highlight specific people. And then I can just say send mass email instead. And so this will now initiate a, a mail merge where you see it's inserted a, a merge tag inside the body of the email. So each candidate will get an individual email. Hi Ben, hi Bridget, hi David, hi Jeremy, hi Jim. So this is not a BCC, each candidate gets an individual email from us. We can imp um, input a, a pre-built template, like let's load my candidate check-in template. Where it'll input, you know, different styling I've created, different merge fields throughout. Again, just to create a, a highly personalized email to this list of candidates that we're, that we're emailing. We also have the concept of sending out job descriptions or marketing candidate um, profiles, much in the same way using a templates type style sheet. Um, you can schedule candidates for a call. I want to schedule all of these candidates for my call list for tomorrow. And now the new call window will open up, allowing you to schedule a call for 14 different candidates uh, on the date and time you choose. You can even set up auto follow-up schedules. I want to make sure to follow up with this person every three days until I hear back, or every two months until I hear back. So the system will automatically remind you to follow up with people based on a schedule that you set. You could send out a, a text message to these people. Uh, to one or multiple people at a time. Uh, you could apply a note, or you could even link these candidates to a job. Once you've found a few candidates that look like a good fit for the position you're working on, the next step is to say link selected candidates to jobs as potential. So now you're going to add them to the shortlist for the job you're working on. So I'm just going to choose a job or multiple jobs. I'll say they look really great for this uh, director of IT position. And then I can give myself a note, you know, found uh, in Excelair still need to call and vet for more information. This is also if you're in a, a large organization that has both recruiters and account managers, this is what we treat as the internal submission from recruiting to account management. So you can see if I was a recruiter submitting this to an account manager, I could give a write-up to the account manager on why this candidate would be a good fit for the position and why they should be approved to be submitted. But either way, you're building that short list of candidates. I can click OK. And now all three of these candidates have been linked to that job um, as potential candidates, basically building that shortlist for the job. So that is a nice overview of, of the system in terms of candidate management. There's a lot of things we haven't covered already, including the sales side, company and contact management, pipeline management, now that a candidate's been added to the pipeline for a job, how do you keep that pipeline updated? Uh, jobs management, being able to manage your jobs, uh, post those jobs to your own company jobs page, uh, having those jobs automatically be posted to various job boards and social media sites. Um, and we also haven't covered the, the parsing of candidates, pulling candidates in from various sources. All those things will be covered in, in separate videos. Um, this video is intended to give you just a, a brief overview of, of how the system's laid out. And, and also how to work with candidate data inside of your system. Uh, please do look for the other videos um, inside of our YouTube or knowledge base areas. And, uh, and also send an email to support at cbizsoft.com if you have any questions or would like to schedule a demo. Thanks so much.